What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another Madden NFL 17 Detroit Lions franchise. And today your 1-0 Detroit Lions are at home taking on the 0-1 Baltimore Ravens. And if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the ch channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. As we are looking to go 2-0, we haven't started 2-0 yet in this franchise. But then again, we've only played one season so far. But sad news, Ziggy Ants is out for four more weeks with a dislocated elbow. Uh, he suffered that injury last week against the Bengals. And we look to have him back in a few short weeks. Maybe he'll play it. Uh, he'll come back a little bit early. And maybe he'll be effective because we really do need him. He's very good at the defensive end. Um, so uh, a little history lesson here. If you guys have been watching me for a while now, you guys have known that I have a history with the Baltimore Ravens. And this goes, well, especially in the Dolphins franchise, I've had a history with the Baltimore Ravens. And the fact that they have been very annoying against me. So they have Justin Forsett. They have Joe Flacco, who likes to throw the ball deep and make big plays. And they also have a, quite a few receivers on the team now. Now that it's year two, though, they don't have the same receivers. But they do have James Jones now, uh, the former Green Bay Packer and uh, Oakland Raiders. So this is going to be an interesting week. Uh, they do have C.J. Fedorowicz, and they still have Dennis Pitta. Uh, so they're going to be a big threat for me in trying to stop them. And their defense moves very fast, too. So we have to be on our toes and not let them dictate the game for us. So we have to do our everything that we can to try and come out and start 2-0 on the season. It should be a good one here in Detroit as we are going to get to the field. And we are underway here at Ford Field as, like I said, we're getting ready. We're throwing back some unis today. We're going to throw back to the 1990s. And if you guys have any uniform suggestions, let me know, too. I would, I'm not going to do Color Rush every single game. Um, but I will try and wear different uniforms for you guys to try and mix it up a little bit and make it kind of unique and kind of fun. And uh, make it so that I'm not wearing the same uniforms every single week. But I know I have, I've already up recorded up to the game against the Vikings. So if you guys have any other uniform suggestions for, like, week four, uh, let me know and um, every week beyond. But here we are underway here from Ford Field as Matt Prater is going to kick this one away to McCord five yards deep in the end zone, five or six yards deep. Going to take a knee. Here comes the Blue Hen Delaware quarterback, Joe Flacco. And man, oh man, he has got quite the postseason resume. Uh, this season so far, last game, he had only 45% of his passes completed for only 126 yards. Uh, it's probably a good reason why the Ravens lost that game last week. But every week's a new week. We still got to prepare like we're facing like Joe Flacco from the Super Bowl. Here is Flacco here on third and 13. Gets this one off to Wilson. First down. Baltimore Ravens after picking up 33 on that play. And now it's third and eight here for the Ravens. Shotgun formation here for Flacco. Four set to the right. They're going to play action. Flacco looking. Has time. Plenty of it. He, he could stand there all day read a book. But it's incomplete. They try to get it to Wilson again, but it's incomplete. They're going to attempt a 60-yard field goal here early in the first quarter. I don't know. I would have punted. Or at least would have gone for it on fourth down. I would have gone for it. But they miss it. So it hit the crossbar. No good. And here comes Matthew Stafford in the Lions offense. Third and two. Here is Stafford dropping back again. Overthrows oh, by a mile. A country mile over... Golden Tate and that was just that was an easy completion that was just gone wrong we did go for it on fourth down we did not convert and now we are in a position here on second and three at the 49 for the Ravens Flacco dropping back looking over the middle to Jones on a play action and he is gone touchdown Baltimore Ravens seven nothing early James Jones just went off on that play 51 yard touchdown and now Matthew Stafford Looking at his stats from last game, 88.5% completion percentage, only 183 yards last game, but enough to get the win over the Cincinnati Bengals. So second and 10, Ravens up 7-0. Here is Stafford looking to the left side, caught by Jeremy Curley. And you know Jeremy Curley loves doing this. He's going to take it down inside to the 6-yard line. Down to the mark. They're going to mark him down to the 7, my bad. But a big 60-yard completion down the field. So now for, uh, second and goal at the 3. What are we going to do here? Well, we're going to toss sweep to Amir Abdullah. Abdullah's got this one in the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. 
And it's now tied back up at seven. Amir Abdullah has got some big plans this year. He's already got a few touchdowns on his resume this season so far. He had 100 yards last game. Let's see if he can get a 100-yard game this game. So second and five, two minutes to go here in the second in the first quarter. Handed off to Forsett. Forsett with a little bit of a juke move, a little bit of a hesitation sidestep. First down for the Baltimore Ravens and at the 40-yard line. Third and 21, though, at the 29 after they just got sacked on that on a second down play by Ashawn Robinson. Third and 21. Here is Flacco dropping back to pass. Has some time. Looks deep downfield, and this one's going to be dropped as that one is in the hands of Wilson and out of the hands of Wilson at the same time. So fourth and 21, we get the ball right back. Looking to score, looking to take the lead. Second and six here. They have Jones in motion. Stafford dropping back to pass, looking underneath the Jones. Jones makes a guy miss down to the 36 or the 42 yard line. I've got my numbers all mixed up, but at the 42 yard line, it's a first down. So 42 yard line, first and 10. Stafford dropping back to pass again, looking to that Golden Tate route right there. I got I got to call it the Tate route because Golden Tate is so nice on that route, and that's his first catch of the game, I do believe. So. Good, good props on Golden Tate and getting the first down. But later on, second and five from the 19. Stafford dropping back to pass. And this one's going to be intercepted by Stoutmeyer. And he is going to take this one to the house as Jeremy Curley trying to give chase. But he's not going to catch him. As that is going to be a Baltimore Raven touchdown. And it is now 14-7 off the pick six. Bad throw by Stafford. That was obviously a bad read. I thought he was going to be open, but he wasn't. So, again, here we go. Third and three. Getting this one off to Golden Tate. And that's a first down. The interception was pretty much... I tried to predict the game, and it didn't work out. I I should go. I didn't go through my reads. I didn't go through the progression. I probably saw... There was probably another receiver open. Just didn't look at him. But, anyway. We get it off for another first down right here. Down... Inside the midfield now at the 47-yard line in Baltimore territory. And Stafford dropped back again. Looks, has time underneath the Golden Tate. Golden Tate trying to push forward, but there's too many guys on him to make any sort of progress. It's a first down nonetheless, though. I'm happy with it. Third and six at the 31. Here is Stafford in a single back formation. Three wide receivers on the play. He's dropping back to pass again. Stafford looking underneath Eric Ebron. Ebron down to the 21-yard line, picking up 10 yards and a first down. And now with a two-minute warning looming, we are looking to get a touchdown and try and go into the halftime with at least a tie because we start with the ball in the second half. I would feel pretty comfortable with that. So we get this one underneath the Golden Tate on the, on the uh, out route. Gets a first down down to the 8-yard line, and we're moving the ball nicely. Second and goal from the two. Under a minute to go here in the half. Sweep left to Abdullah, and Abdullah is going to take this one in once again for another touchdown. And it's now tied at 14 just like that. Tied up at 14 just like that because Amir Abdullah is just that good. So first and 10 from the 25. Here is uh, Flacco in the shotgun with four set to the right. Flacco dropping back to pass. Looking deep, and he gets James Jones on the fly route, and Diggs trying to catch him. Tries to tackle him, but he cannot bring him down. Touchdown, Baltimore Ravens. And now it's 21-14. But we're going to try and respond here with under 45 seconds to go. Stafford dropping back. Hit it. He throws it. He's fumbled. And it's recovered by the Baltimore Ravens. So the Lions just making all sorts of mistakes right now. And now the, the Ravens in the red zone once again. Looking to score and try and make this a 14-point lead at halftime. So Flacco again in the shotgun. And he's dropped back past once again. Looking over the, to the left side. It's caught by James Jones. Another touchdown for James Jones. That's three touchdowns in the first half. On pace to get six touchdowns in this game. That's not that's not gonna happen, though. I'm not gonna let that happen. Well I, I it would be it would be impossible, especially at this rate that I'm gonna be going at now. Where I need to kind of slow the game down a little bit. I'm sure, I do need a couple scores. But I need to slow the game down for myself and need to slow the game down for Matthew Stafford and the defense as well because they haven't really caught much of a break now, have they? So Stafford again underneath the James or Marvin Jones and Marvin Jones getting this down to the 49-yard line in enemy territory. Stafford now over 200 yards passing, but he still has had a pretty shaky game. Second and four here, Stafford looks, has time underneath to Golden Tate once again, getting that first down getting that we gotta make it slow steady progress we're not gonna get it all back at once especially since we're down two scores 
But this one off to Jeremy Curley. Look at him go. He may be small, but big things come in small packages. You know what I'm saying? So, second and down and nine at the 23. Stafford once again looking to the out route to Jeremy Curley. Curley down inside the five, down to the four. And, man, we are just making so much progress here on this drive. Curley has 100 yards receiving. That's the kind of numbers I'd like to see. Sweep right to Theo Riddick. And it's now within a touchdown right here. It's now 28-21. As, man, oh, man. We, we need to fight back. We're fighters. We're fighters here. We don't quit. So here, second down and nine here for the Ravens. 323 remaining here in the third quarter. Strong eye formation here for the Ravens as they're dropping back to pass. Looking underneath to the left side. It's caught by four set wide open as Darius Slade trying to make him take, uh, take it down. And he does just that at the 41-yard line in Lions territory, though. That was not a good defensive play. But later on, it's third and six. Can the Lions make a defensive stand here and at least try and make it, you know, reasonable here? A 10-point deficit would be more reasonable than a 14, I would think, at this point in the game. So fourth and six here. We do make the stop on third down. Justin Tucker from 54 yards away. Well, this is a long field. He tried, he tried from 60. He almost made it. But this one's from 54, and he just makes it through. So it's now 31-21. So here is Amir Abdullah taking his left side on a halfback dive. Stiff arms, but he cannot get any further. But that's a huge carry from Amir Abdullah. Second and six here. Stafford dropping back as we begin the fourth quarter. Looking over the middle to Golden Tate. And Golden Tate taken down for a first down. So Golden Tate, again, just doing the great things again. You know, he's been the man, the myth, the legend. He's been that, he's been that guy. So Stafford again off to Ebron. Ebron touchdown Lions. It's now 31-28 as Ebron gets his first touchdown of the season. And it's now a three-point game. So now we gotta make a stop on defense. And hopefully we can. First and ten for the Ravens here. They're gonna hand him up oh, play action. Flacco dropping back to pass, looking right side, looking to CJ Fedorowitz. And Fedorowitz down to the 45. The former Iowa Hawkeye takes it to the 45, picking up 20 yards. So third and six at the 49. Can the the Lions make a stop here. That's the big thing because we don't. We, we're running out of time, basically. And it's we do make the stop, but can we make a score now? We can't get a field goal and tie the game. That, that's, that, that's at least a good thing. You know, we don't have to score a touchdown. But I would like to score a touchdown. Uh, but worst comes to worst, if we get a field goal, I'm not going to be upset. So we'll take what we can get. Second and seven here at the 28. Stafford dropping back to pass. Has some time looking over the middle to Golden Tate. And Golden Tate has been the man on this drive and in this game. So 23 for 31. 323 yards for Matthew Stafford today. He has picked up his game here in the fourth or in the second half. So I'm really happy for that. So Amir Abdullah, 18 carries, 87 yards. He doesn't get the third down conversion right there. But we're going to go for it on fourth down. Taking a risk with this much time left with all three timeouts. Stafford trying to find somebody open. He can't. He's going to take off running. He gets the first down, and he gets out of bounds. That was a smooth way to get out of danger there. We evaded danger in, like, the worst way. So second down and two. 3-11 to go here. Hand off to Abdullah up the gut. First down. Keeping the chains moving. 19 carries, 92 yards for Amir Abdullah. Having another fantastic game. He may not have the big carry numbers, but he is getting the job done. Stafford looking over the middle. Nice catch by Marvin Jones. Diving across the middle, and it's a first down. And now 350 yards for Stafford on the day. Second and eight. 141 left here in the football game. Stafford looks to the left, right side. It's caught by Marvin Jones. Escapes the tackler, but he gets it down to the two-yard line. And now it's a 364 yards on the day for Stafford. Second and goal from the one. Less than a minute to go. Stafford looks. Left side caught. Golden Tate. Touchdown, Detroit Lions. And it's now 35-31 as we come back to take the lead here in the late going. Now here's second and 10 for the Baltimore Ravens. Can they come back for themselves? Flacco looking. Oh, a little intercepted by Lawson. And that's going to seal the deal. And let's boogie for the victory of the Detroit Lions going 2-0. 35-31 in a nice come from behind victory. 14 points was the deficit and we managed to come back and seal the deal and get the win here. 
in, in front of a really good Ravens team. They are really, really good. So we got to give all the props in the world to them. They are a really good football team. And uh, next week, the 2-0 Detroit Lions will go to U.S. Bank Stadium and take on the Minnesota Vikings. Teddy Bridgewater, Adrian Peterson, uh, Stephen Diggs, and them boys on the Vikings offense. And you got the hitman on defense. You got Chad Greenway and all them boys. The Minnesota Vikings have a really good squad. We got to get prepared for those guys as well. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new to this channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content like this. I try to put as much content, content out for you guys on a daily basis. So make sure you guys check it all out. NCAA, MLB, NCAA basketball as well. And, of course, this. But until next time, my name is Tim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. And I am out. Peace.